this is JPTV3000. I'm here with Crystal. Crystal, appreciate that. Thank you for your time. Crystal, how did you get to Montana and how did you get to Belgrade? Um, we moved to Montana when I was young. My dad was military, so we moved around a lot. Uh, my mom stayed here even when they separated. And as an adult, I decided to come back. She was living in Belgrade at the time. And I fell in love with the mountains again. Um, the camping and the farming and the genuine people. Uh, it's a good place. Now that I've had kids here, that uh, you can send them down the road. You can, they walk to school and I don't worry they're coming home, you know. Uh, crime's down a lot. There's uh, wholesome people you break down on the side of the road. You're going to have several stop to help you. I uh, love that there's waterfalls near. You can escape into the mountains, you know. Where, you, where are the waterfalls There's at? There's one in Bozeman, a pilot. Um, then we got like Glacier. There's, uh, you go know, underground caves. There's all kinds of stuff. So uh, not even from childhood to now, but just just the feeling I get here. If I'm frustrated, I jump in the car and I look at the beauty. And, and Montana has its own. Uh, we like our own. We promote Montana-made stuff a lot. And uh, and people are vastly moving in. You see a lot maybe coming from California and stuff. Uh, but it's it's a good place, I think, to be. So it's a bunch of you know, corners. It takes a long time to get from one place to another. You don't have yeah. Starbucks on every corner. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but we do take our time in the country because it's it's a more enjoyable so um, what are some of the the things you would tell people to go do or uh, sites to go see or places to go in Montana sure um, yeah we're even here we're close to West Yellowstone that's a big one um, Glacier National Park and then we have um, any of the camping spots like I said Highlight Reservoir has the waterfall up there, Palisade Falls. Um, those are all pretty local. Otherwise, uh, Montana in general has, like we have a couple bear exhibits if you want to learn more about nature and, and the things that come naturally. Livingston has one that's pretty close. Um, any of the ski resorts, there's a lot of good skiing here from smaller to bigger hills. Big Sky's uh, pretty close, they got a good one. Uh, Big Sky in general, you got the Yellowstone Club, so there's a lot of attraction from you know celebrity view and stuff there Justin Timberlake has a condo up there and how far is that from here uh, Big Sky is about 30 45 minutes yeah there's some I mean camping is the most beautiful yeah fishing is really good if you're a fisher uh, recreational wise uh, it's a great place to be for that too okay. hunting there's a lot of hunting um, yeah. bear season opens up tomorrow I think I heard okay. mm -hmm. and with all of that being said do you know of any any opportunities or what are some of the industries for work and things like that? In Montana. In Montana. Um, we see, I mean, you see a lot of, I see a lot of truckers traveling through, um, you know, going through the coast from one to another. Montana sees, I don't know, what are the other industries in Montana? I'm, maybe there's tobacco, there's um, farming is the biggest industry. Yeah. There's a lot of ranching and farming. Um, which still carries you through the winter, but then the people that do um, building and construction and landscaping, they'll do snow removal because we get it a lot in the winter, and so you'll see you'll see majority of that. But I'd say ranching is probably the biggest. And I want to say Montana. thank y'all, thank y'all for keeping all of the snow so yeah. so that it <laughs> no doesn't way. come over to North Dakota because uh, North Dakota can't handle large amounts. Of too snow. much is too much. Yeah. Uh, no. But they do prepare a lot for that. Um, you got to have studded tires in the winter. That's one thing, you know, you see a lot of accidents because um, the roads get slick, but they try to prepare even the asphalt to melt off and run off better. So, yeah. North Dakota's just kind of, uh, we'll, we'll wait till after all the snow falls and we'll figure it out. <laughs> and then we won't go to school for a yeah. week or yeah. whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we go to school still unless it's, you know, negative five and then they will do a late start or something until it runs up a little bit. But yeah, I mean, we might get negative 20s and still still have to go out. <laughs> I was going to say, North Dakota, don't, don't stop school. It could be For negative. It could be negative 45. They don't care. Yeah. Yeah, they won't, uh, they'll keep the kids indoors if it's past negative yeah. five. Yeah. But, okay. uh, but otherwise, yeah, we still, they still send them. We don't have many snow days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, uh, you got any shout outs or business spotlights that you'd like to share or shout outs that you got? Or any friends and family that have bi uh, businesses that you know of? Businesses or? around here. Um, there's a lot of, 
I would just say the, the, the Montana made stuff. Shout out to that. The, the homemade stuff around here. A lot of people do. Is um, that a slogan or, or a, a It's actual kind of anywhere you kind of go into, you know, even if you're going to a Walmart, you can find a Montana section. And so just like huckleberries, anything, if you haven't tried a huckleberry, it's mixed between a blueberry and a grape. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So huckleberries are in Montana. Um, but yeah, they do a lot of huckleberry stuff with the Montana made. Otherwise, there's, um, um, what's his name? Guy came through. And he went to a couple places. He went to the Roost. Yeah. That's uh -huh, from uh, Dinin's Drivers and Dines. Or oh yeah, that guy, yeah, that yeah, guy yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. I know he's so, about. Yeah, and um, he went to the Roost, and I believe Mackenzie River, maybe a couple of places. Um, really good. Otherwise, Montana Ale Works, good steaks. And they're kind of on the old railroad station. It's a cool place to check out. And that's in Bozeman, downtown Bozeman. Um, and uh, there's some history there. Uh, Virginia City has some of the oldest running uh, businesses, like the saloon, the bar's been open there since, what do you tell me, 1920-something? Okay. So it's still running. There's uh, old mining. They hit gold there, and you can do a tour and kind of see. I did that recently. That was pretty cool, too. Where's this at? It's in Virginia City, Montana. It's uh, near Pony. You head towards Ennis. How far is that from here? Uh, maybe, it took us maybe an hour to get there. So you would, is it is it kind of like a T where you would go to, what was the other one you said, Big Sky? One so, uh, way yeah, Big Sky is one way, but if you turn towards Four Corners, you head towards Ennis, and then instead of turning towards Ennis, you turn towards Pony in uh, Virginia City South there. Okay. Yep, so you get uh, a lot of good history. That's what else um, I could tell just from my time here is that like, this, this place is different. Like, I've been to Denver, and Denver has that same mountainous mm -hmm. relaxation vibe but I can tell this is different because it's is it's relaxing it's in like itself yeah mm -hmm. you know it's it's it's, it's, it's really calming mm -hmm. everywhere I've been like I said my dad was military so we went everywhere I've, I've been in the south I lived in Georgia for a couple of years you know and I was born in Texas so I've literally been everywhere but um, this is the place that felt most like home and uh, like you said like that wholesome relaxed true relaxing feeling yeah, because, I mean, I, I drove here last night, it was dark, so I didn't see any of the mountains until I woke up. And I was like, I'll be damned, there's mountains out there. <laughs> well, there's a little smoke in the air, too. I hate fire season. It's natural, though, and they, it does regenerate. you got to think of it like a phoenix. <laughs> but uh, Is there any close by I could, like, go take pictures or video? With the, with, there was a fire in the mountain kind of behind us. They got that one out. Um, the closest ones, I think, are still several hours away. I'm not, I'm not trying to go that far. Yeah. So they had some good footage, you know, of them when it was burning up here in the snow. We had a really snow, put it out, put okay. the rest of it out. So. Well, once again, this is JP TV 3000 here with Crystal. Crystal, appreciate that. Thank you for your time, and you know, stay positive. Just keep working at what you're trying to do and things that you're trying to accomplish and you'll see this video uploaded within a couple of weeks or so. I got this one to work on and two more. So this will keep you busy for a good little while. And once again, thank you. And if you want to give me a shout out to friends and family, go ahead. Oh, uh, my kids, Kayliana, Harley, and Addison, uh, my mama, and just all my friends, everyone out there, stay positive. Appreciate that. I'm here with you. He likes this. Alexis, appreciate that. Thank you for your time. So, Alexis, what was your adventure in California, and kind of give, kind of give us a, an idea of what brought you over here to, to Montana? Um, what brought me out to Cal uh, sorry, to Montana is because I was not making it in California, and I have two beautiful children, so I want a better life for them out here in Montana. And so far, that's how we've been doing, and we've been doing pretty good out here. It's less cheaper. There's no taxes out here. And, I mean, it snows for Christmas, so that's a pretty beautiful thing. But we have a white Christmas. The thing that I don't like is the snow all year, but it, we have to make a living out of it also. We cannot just be bored or anything like that. There's a bunch of stuff that you can do out here winter or summer.
So what are some of your fa favorite things to do out here in Belgrade, Montana, or in Montana? Um, we like to hike and stuff, and like go to the rivers and stuff. But when it's snowing, it I guess some rivers are ice skate skating rings. Uh -huh. So like that that's pretty cool too. And we get to do tubing and stuff like that. That's pretty much like more country style and more city because I live in both. So I I actually like it better out here. And how's the pace? How would you describe the pace of Montana versus California? Um. Well, that is like it's getting too crowded now, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was like the perfect thing to come out here. But now there's a bunch of people coming out here too. But they would like it's better to like move forward than to stay in one spot. Yeah, that's what brought us out here and stuff. So what are some of the things and places to, to visit out here in Montana? Uh, Yellowstone uh, National Park. Uh -huh. That's pretty fun. Like you get to see like the lava, not the lava, but like there's uh, like you know where the volcano and stuff? Like the geysers? And yeah, stuff? like the geysers and stuff. Like that's pretty fun. We went up there for Father's Day. Um, but mostly to do out here is shooting, hunting, and like hiking and stuff like that. Well, what what were some of the contrasts? Like what, what were some things to do in California? In California, you could go to the beaches and stuff, but I feel like it's more dirtier out there. And like people don't really care for their, for like their place of environment like they do out here. Okay. Don't get me wrong, I love California, but it's more fresher out here. You can actually like breathe in, get air and stuff like that. So would it be safe to say that you feel that there's a there's a freshness here? Yes. And it's more relaxing and just like you could be yourself and not get like real frustrated and stuff, like take a walk or anything like that. Or take a drive, even. Yeah, because I've, I've done a lot of that today. I'll just drove around, drove around, drove around. Last night we went to go see the Milky Way and stuff, like the stars up in the sky. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's towards back there and more that way to Boundary. So pretty much y'all just got away from the lights where you can see it. Yeah, okay. and there's a bunch of stars and stuff. Okay. You can see them more out here. like. So it's like pitch black, but you can see like the stars. That's okay. pretty nice. So, do you have any advice for people that are considering making a change in their life or their surroundings? Uh, yes, it would be perfect if they would move out here, but leave all their negativity over there, somewhere where they come, where they <laughs> where they belong. It's a really relaxing place out here. Yeah. All right, do you got any shout outs or want to say anything to friends and family? Just keep strong and take care of yourself and protect yourself from COVID and everything. We'll all get through it. I well, appreciate that. Once again, this is JP TV 3000. I'm here with Alexis. Alexis, appreciate that. Thank you for your time and stay safe and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.